Hi guys, how are you? My name is Juan Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about bonds, inverted yield curves, um, savings bubble, fake MMT. Okay, and um, again, you fake MMTers need to start to wake up. You need to wake up. You need to come back to reality. Come back here, down to earth. Okay, and stop with this virtuous bullshit. I want to show you a chart here. And this chart is showing you the percentage, okay, of uh, GDP that central banks own. And when you look at it, it's just going from the bottom left to the top right. Okay. 35% of global GDP, okay, or uh, of their countries, the G4 uh, GDP, is owned by central banks, okay? What was QE? QE exchanged cash for a bond. It was an asset swap, okay? That's all it was, an asset swap. So you gave uh, 1 million you sold 1 million of your bonds and in return you got 1 million dollars in cash all right there's no net printing that went on no net printing this is very important for you gold bug austrian crazies okay for you mmt tards in an mmt world and in an mmt world and an M no 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 Forget about the MMT world. In an MMT world, things would be even more disastrous. Okay? Why is it disastrous? I'll explain it to you. So, they've converted 35% uh, of their GDP into cash. Okay? Reserves, whatever you want. L highly liquid. They changed forms. They went from bonds and they became highly liquid. Just changing the form has really changed everything the way we see things today. Now, remember, economic theories, whether it be Austrian economic bullshit or MMT, we can print, have everything free. Theories, all these, these, these things in economics, they're partially right, okay? And they mix facts with fiction. That's what they do. So... While Austrians were telling you, oh, hyperinflation is coming because of QE, wrong, okay? And then MMT says, oh, in an MMT world, we can just get rid of bonds and we can just pay for everything and, you know, we can have all these free things, okay? Those are fantasies. That's not reality, okay? Um, so let me show you something. Before the great financial crisis, right in here, okay? This is what the bond market looked like going nice sideways okay then came QE okay and here is what happened in QE right we got asset price inflation all right now I'm going to change up the, the chart a little bit and I'm going to put the S&P 500 okay and look what it's doing bottom left top right okay where's the inflation well, there's no inflation here. Yeah. There's no inflation here. Yeah. Where is inflation? Show me. Can you see it? It's right in front of you. This is where all the inflation is taking place. And that's why I said, you know, you may like Milton, not like Milton Friedman. doesn't matter to me. Okay? What he said is correct. Inflation is always in everywhere a monetary phenomena. Right? So, we've had 10% that the GDP deficits, then eight, six, five, right? We've had what QE, right? What is QE again? Right? You exchange a bond for cash. It's just an exchange. That's all it is. But changing the form from a bond to cash makes a difference. And that's why 
in a pure MMT world, when people tell me that shit, it makes me crazy because if you were to convert $22 trillion from bonds to cash, all you're going to do is blow out more asset price inflation. You, you see what I'm saying? So this is what you're seeing. You are seeing the results of changing forms from bonds to cash. And you can say to me that, well, Dick, look, 10 years, no recession. This is a good thing. And I'll be the first one to agree with you, right? Longest economic expansion in history, longest job expansion in history, endless historical data. But here's the problem. But it all looks great until it doesn't. Okay? It all looks great until it doesn't. And then when it doesn't, then what are you going to do? It's good until it's not. And here is a chart of all the uh, interest rates. Okay? I want you to pay attention here. Because what you're going to see here in 2007 was that the interest rates were bunched up again around four to five percent okay like they were here all right the difference was that we lowered interest rates the fed lowered interest rates okay and that's the the orange down here and the red and the yellow okay lowered interest rates and what happened to the long end what happened to the 30 year and the 20 year and the 10 year right they remained elevated this allowed banks to have a nice steep yield curve to go out and lend. Then QE came along and started buying on the long end. And what happened? You ended up seeing that the long end was suppressed. Okay? All right. So they converted bonds to cash. So there was less bonds available in the market, but more cash available in the market. And that created a, a distortion, where now you have more dollars chasing less bonds. And that pushed long interest rates down. Because this time around, when it bunched up, okay, and then rates started to fall, what happened to the long end? Long, went, long end went down right with it. Okay? Here it didn't go down. Here it does go down. Why? It's a result of all the QE and all the uh, deficit spending that is in excess. So now it's giving you this false signal. Okay? That... Oh, we're going into a recession. Oh, negative yields. Oh, 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 oh. All about this, all about that. See, it's not the same thing this this time around. And that's what I've been telling everybody. Now, again, it's okay until it's not. At some point, it's not. Now, let's go back and let's talk about Steve Keen. Keen. Right, Steve Keen was, oh, we have debt deflation, oh, we have a debt crisis, oh, we have this crisis. Then you have Mosler, the, the squid, oh, we have a cash famine, oh, we don't have enough cash, oh, we have a cash famine. Right, we need more deficits, we need more deficits, four, five, six trillion dollars in deficits. Right, all these alternative geniuses, social media gurus, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay. Because the reality of it all is we don't have debt deflation, okay? We don't need more deficits, certainly don't need more deficits. What we have is a savings bubble problem. That's what we have. We have excess amount of savings in the hands of the few that is in the unproductive portion of the private sector. That is our problem right now. And when you have gurus like Logan telling you, oh, I have a six-point model that I back-tested to 1960, and it's never failed. <laughs> if any of you are traders out there, and you've ever back-tested anything, and you just tinkled around with it long enough, 
you will know that if we tinkle around with the back testing uh, stupid thing, you can all come up with a very nice trading signal and it'll work so beautiful hindsight and it just man it's so perfect and then you go and you turn that bot to on with your real money and within a day or two your money's gone okay you know why because back testing and models do not work and the reason they don't work is either especially macroeconomics is either because the environment changes okay for example what a yield curve inversion used to mean okay in previous recessions does not mean is the same this time and we all know it's not the same this time okay it's not behaving in the same manner so the the signal that you're seeing is false it's not a, it's not the same as it used to be and like i told you like it was back here okay it's not the same thing it's completely different this time last time you could lower the the short-term yields uh, rates and you can have a nice little spread this time what are you going to do lower rates again all the way down and what do you think the 30 years is going to do it'll come right, right down with it so how are you going to make it profitable for banks to start lending again see that part is the same that if you have uh, a flat yield curve banks you know they're not going to lend because it's not as profitable okay that part is the same what's not the same is that the 30 years coming right down with uh, with short-term rates what's also different this time is that at least in the US deficits are rising as we are going into negative rates and as we uh, invert the yield curve so you have the 30 20 10 year the long end coming down along with the short end at the same time and the federal fund rate is above it so the market already gave itself a stimulus that's different right there's a lot of differences this time around i cannot tell you what the future is going to hold i don't have models i don't have crystal balls i don't have that stuff i know i don't know okay anything could happen but when somebody like logan is telling you oh i have my six point model your six point model doesn't mean shit because it's different this time what what used to sh show over here an inverted yield curve and and the rate stayed high is not what's happening this time around so that's garbage second indicator that he has oh i have the leading indicator you know that's still a positive no in 2007 and 2008 the leading indicator did not have credit in it it wasn't built in so it the the leading indicator never showed a recession in 2007 2008 okay they have since adjusted it and now it looks like oh wow look the leading indicator shows perfectly yeah well, look at that it showed a recession yeah this is true no <laughs> this is hindsight this is because they they redid all the the calculations and it looks like that before 2007 2008 leading indicator wasn't telling you shit now this is not about logan okay the, the the point is his six point model okay two of the six are already fucking debunked they're garbage take them and throw them in the in the trash they're never going to show you a recession anybody that's telling you they got they got models they're they're bullshitting you they're just telling you oh i have a crystal ball and i and only i know how to interpret it and it's uh, you know i'm i'm geeky i am uh, i'm an i'm a wall street insider a monetary insider bora mosler I am, uh, I have Minsky, Steve Keen, right? They all have these fucking magical things that everybody's like, wow, he's got Minsky. Oh, look, look what Minsky's showing. Oh, Mosler, yeah, he, he, he's a monetary insider. He had a bank. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, Logan. Yeah, Logan, since 1960, his model never, never uh, predicted a recession. Peter Schiff, Austrian economics. You know, oh yeah, our forefathers were right. You know, they, it was all it was all right in front of us this whole entire time, and nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Australian economics, gold is real money. Shit, nobody saw it till now, right? Everybody has a fucking gold, uh, not gold. Everybody has a crystal ball. Everybody has a model. Everybody has some special insight. 
It's not special insight. Either you understand economics or you don't understand economics. And this is what's going on, and this is why it's different, and this is this is what's going on in the market. Nobody can tell you when a recession is going to come, okay? I've been doing this for a decade. Debunking fucking clowns. Oh, you know, uh, printing a QE is going to cause inflation. And uh, gold is going to go higher because gold is real money and, you know, it's only limited supply. Why is gold going up today? Why is gold going up today? Because of inflation? Because of hyperinflation? Because what? You see? Gold has gone from uh, almost 1,000 all the way up to 1,500. Okay? One third up since uh, 2006. And the reason it's going up this time is because not of inflation because of deflation because we have negative interest rates so why would i want to go buy a bond that i'm going to lose money on and i, I don't go buy put some a proportion of my money into into gold where i don't have to pay uh to to store my cash and i'm not talking about you everyday retail people i'm talking about guys with massive amounts of money right billions of dollars and trillions of dollars black rock and whatever Okay, that's who that's who I'm talking about. That's what that's what moves markets, not you. So you got bonds going up, you got gold going up at the same time. Noxymoron. When has that ever happened? Dollar up. So think about that. Wasn't a weak dollar supposed to drive up the the price of gold because you you need more dollars to buy more gold remember that bullshit if you measure the gold to the dow and it's going to go one to one peter schiff what about the other fucking clown mike norman another clown oh my fiscal flows all profits mental game oh oh uh, the because rates are going up the dollar's going to crash what <laughs> dollar stronger than ever because of uh, uh higher rates and, oh, buy gold, buy silver, the dollar's going to devalue, the Fed is, interest, uh, is raising interest rates. They tell you what's going to happen. They tell you what's going to happen in advance. Well, this is the mother of all shorts. Go out, buy gold, buy silver. And what happened? When rates started to fall, gold started to go up. The dollar has gained strength since uh, they started to raise rates. Not, lo- not lost. Here it is. Traded weighted U.S. dollar. What happened? Whoop. Straight up. Straight up. You think Mike Norman was right with his crystal ball and his fiscal flows? Keen, Mosler, Logan. So we have a savings bubble that's causing an everything rally. Right? Gold is up. Dollars up. Bonds are up. Stocks are up. And you have this retard over here. Mike. Uh, Mike. Warren Mosler, the, the squid, he's a squid because he just sprays fucking ink in people's eyes. And he's sitting here telling you, oh, we don't have enough fucking money. We have a cash famine. Cash famine. Really. This, do you know, do you know what it takes to push the U.S. bond market so high that rates are going uh, towards negative? That the 10-year now is, what, 146 do you, do you know how much money you have to have? Not you, any, any, any one individual. How much money has to be available in order to push rates so low? You have $16, $17 trillion in negative interest rates, $30 trillion that's not even matching uh, the inflation uh, of, of their, their economies out of $55 trillion. And we have a cash famine? What the fuck are you talking about, man? You see, these people, they're con artists. That's what they do. They con people. They just come out, start saying, man, 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 free this, free that, uh, all mental game. I can take anything and make money out of it, any system. There's no system fairy. I have Minsky in my model, my six-point model, backtesting, and all this bullshit. And they're all full of shit. You know what happened to the 10-year? I'm sorry, the 30-year? You see the 30-year right here? 193. That's fucking insane. Okay? The only way this can happen is what I've been telling you for years. We have a savings bubble. We have a savings problem. Not a debt deflation. Not a debt problem. We have a savings problem.
And if you listen to MMT tards that want to increase the amount of fucking dollars in the world, you're going to have even bigger problems, bigger distortions. With We don't know what's going to happen as a result of that, okay? I don't pretend to know, okay? I have no clue. I don't have a magic uh, crystal ball and models and whatever the fuck, right? I tell you how it is. I tell you what reality is. And if I was not right about the savings bubble, we would never, ever, ever have everything rally. Gold up, bonds up, dollar up, stocks up, housing up, negative interest rates, right? Inverted yield curves. This is, you know, I don't know how much clearer I can make it to you, for you guys. You know, well, you know, I don't like the way you make fun of these people. You don't like the way I'm making fun of these people who are fucking scam arting you? Really? You got fucking, you're, you're, you're a lunatic. There's something wrong with you. Okay? There's something wrong with you. If you think that, you're, you're mental. You got some ma mental problems up there. So, that's it for this video. If you guys really want to understand real macroeconomics, like I, I've been telling you for a long time, you need to come down to patreon.com slash real macro real macro and i can mentor you okay but if you're gonna come in there waiting oh give me the trade give me the trade no 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 i don't do that i don't do such things okay this is not uh, oh you're gonna become rich and you're gonna quit your day job and you're gonna go out and buy a golf stream 650 and have yachts and women sucking your dick while you eating uh grapes and sipping on wine that's that's not what this is about i've never been about that stuff Okay, this is real macroeconomics, and you take that information, and you go out, and you learn how to invest with that information. So that's it. Take care of yourselves. Stay away from these fucking social media alternative macroeconomic retards. Stay really uh, far, far, far away from them. Don't listen to them. They're always going to mix some truth uh, with some fiction. They're going to sell you, you know their models and their crystal balls and their fiscal flows and all profits and all this bullshit and you vote for this guy and vote for that guy free stuff we can give you free health care free this <laughs> fucking idiots that's it guys take care of yourselves bye bye